ICC delivered a groundbreaking determination Tuesday, effectively terminating the cases which have been haunting Ruto and Sang for close to six years at the Hague Best Court. And the people who led the charge against Ruto and Sang's cases, right at the floor of the courtroom, have given their verdict regarding the outcome. Ruto's lead counsel Karim Khan and Joshua Sang's lawyer Katwa Kigin spoke Wednesday terming the judgment acceptable. The important aspect for today is they have considered the evidence. And on the evidence they have said no reasonable trial chamber could convict. That is a vindication of what the defence has been saying since uh, the, uh, Mr William Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang were named. It's a vindication of what we said in our opening speeches. It's a vindication of what we said in our no case to answer. Indeed, the two lawyers maintained that charges against their clients had been premised on falsehoods. May I say very loudly that Mr. Sang is one of the victims of this process. And so, in fact, I'm speaking on behalf of a victim. Uh, the things Mr. Sang has gone through, in fairness, should not have occurred. Against popular opinion that the move to disallow use of recanted evidence weakened the cases, the two counsel insist that the cases were not seeing the light of day, even if the withdrawn testimonies were incorporated. The prosecution said that they had enough evidence, even without the Rule 68 statements, to convict. I'm not making it up, it read the decision of Judge Fremer. Even without Rule 68, they said there's enough evidence to convict. The judges said nothing doing, it's rubbish. With a, they didn't have enough evidence. So the prosecution have been proved to be wrong. Do we say that's of no consequence? Let's talk about the defense. They must be guilty because that's why they're there. I must say for Mr. Sang, we are very aggrieved because in fact it is true that the judges agreed with us that the witnesses were lying, that they were dishonest, that they were opportunist, that they were mendacious, as Mr. Karima said, and that was disused by Justice Fremer. Uh, and we would have thought that in the face of all that, and in the face of what we always said, uh, we should have had uh, an unqualified acquittal. Victims lawyer Wilfred Nderitu, however, holds a contrary opinion. If this had been a case that was um, devoid of uh, recantation by witnesses, uh, the result may very well have been different. According to the two, the work done by the Office of the Prosecutor of the ICC, particularly Fatou Ben Souda's predecessor Louis Moreno Campo, was nothing but wanting. The prosecution, and particularly Louis Moreno Campo, has a case to answer as to why on earth was it, on the eve of his departure from the Office of the Prosecutor, did he rush to name the big sexy names of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, William Ruto, and all the others, Ambassador Mathara, in a rush that wasn't based upon proper, diligent investigations. This argument appears to resonate well with the victim's lawyer. The prosecution must take a responsibility for, for uh, um, the failure to cross-check uh, the information to ensure that it was correct. But Ruto and Sang's lawyers do not agree with all the sections of the ruling. They have particularly taken issue with the passage of the ruling, indicating their clients gravely interfered with the cases. According to them, Ruto and Sang were in no capacity to interfere with their trial. Uh, the aspect of pol political interference is uh, extremely remarkable in respect to Mr. Sang. As we all know, Mr. Sang enjoys no political office, no public service of leadership, not even religious leadership. And so to victimize him on account of, for instance, political interference is extremely unfair to him because he has no influence or hand in that. In all the noise that has been bandied about, it's important to note that when this case was brought, His Excellency William Ruto was plain old Bill Ruto, a backbencher, not in government. Uhuru Kenyatta was not the president. It was His Excellency Mwai Kibaki. On this one, Nderitu holds a different view. Uh, based on the material presented before the court. There is material that was presented before the court. There is other material that could not come to the court because uh, of the... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the, 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 the whole process uh, we, um, regarding 
um, the witnesses themselves and, and uh, the allegations of interference. They hope the truth about what transpired in 2007-2008 will come out now that all the six Kenyans mentioned in connection with the violence have had their cases terminated, even as victims' representatives rally the state to consider reparations. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.